This player legitimately took his career in his hands the other night. This is a weird clip for me to cover. It's from my local CHL team, the Halifax Mooseheads. Many of you know I cover the team in my special Closer Look series, but this is a clip I would have covered either way. All right, so the Halifax Mooseheads were playing the Gatineau Olympique. As the game was ending, there was an allegation that Mooseheads player Zachary LaRue swung his stick and hit a fan. That's right. The player, while leaving the ice, hit a fan. Now, initially, the CHL in the queue took no action because there was no evidence. Eventually, however, a video was posted showing the altercation. Now, more information has come out since. Some have said that the player may have had past interactions with the fan who was chirping him. Otherwise, we have really no idea what was exchanged. Obviously, though, as a player, you gotta be above that. Now, that's easy for me to say as someone who's never played a sport at anywhere near the level these guys have. And I'm not saying we're Mike Milbury shooing a fan level, but you can't can't do this. You absolutely cannot do this. So after the video came out, the player was suspended indefinitely by the queue. And I was actually pretty worried that he might be done for the season. For those who don't know, the Mooseheads have an absolutely incredible team this year. They will be competing for the Q's championship and perhaps also the Memorial Cup. And LaRue's a big part of that with 37 points in just 24 games. He's also one of the Moosehead players signed to an NHL contract. He was drafted in the first round by Nashville in 2021. However, this was not LaRue's first time facing discipline. In fact, he's been suspended eight prior times in the queue since joining at 16. That's why I was expecting a long suspension, perhaps even missing playoffs. However, it was announced today that he will only be sitting out 10 games, which is actually below what I was expecting at the low end. Nine suspensions in four years in the CHL is a lot. I'm cheering for the guy, and I hope it won't affect his future NHL career. I do wonder how Nashville sees incidents like this, but given the the games he's already served he'll be back in action in the queue on march 9th i reached out to the team for comment so far nothing yet i'll let you guys know if there's an update and i do hope to cover the game this friday if my schedule's open i'm going to take advantage of the press pass and i'll talk about any updates that we get there in the meantime now i am back from my trip i would have covered this otherwise earlier i do want to give a quick shout out to everyone who was worried about me while i was gone one of my buddies zach who works on some of my other channels with me covered some of the voice recording you guys were wondering where I was. Shout out to everyone who filled the rest of you in. But yeah, occasionally if I'm gone, you may hear other voices. Zach will be a likely one. My buddy Brandon sometimes submits scripts to the channel. Eventually, I'd like to get him recording too. He also does some editing. But yeah, until next time, I'll see you soon.